Right, we are live. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads Center. We are here for the match of the semi-final, or sorry, the quarterfinal that has taken place between the USA and Great Britain women's seven sides. And it should be a very exciting contest if it's anything like the match that we just witnessed. Australia versus Fiji coming down to the wire. Fiji, the Fijiana side, able to get the upset win, which does now mean that they are going through to the semi-final to face off against New Zealand. And what a game that one will be. Fiji, could both of their men's and women's sides walk away from this competition with a goal? We will have to wait and see. But the humidity, once again, 72%, 28 degrees Celsius. We had a few delays a little bit earlier on because of the weather. A little bit of a storm warning that they did decide to delay that game between Fiji and Australia by 20 minutes or so, maybe even 30. But we are here for this one now, and it should be very exciting indeed. Hi from Lyle, also hi from Kyle, hi from Moorcake, and hey guys from Amy as well, greetings all, says Marco von Apollo, we have already got a lot of you guys in the chat, how's it going lads from Ed Vogel, I hope you guys are all having a good day, and also be sure to let me know your score predictions for this match, I said that I was back in Great Britain to win this one, but I'm not sure what the score's going to be, I think it is going to be a very exciting game to watch, and I think it is only going to be decided by about seven points, is my prediction, hopefully I am right in that regard, but nonetheless, it is only going to be a few minutes away. And I have to say, it still feels weird looking at that stadium without any crowd. But we have had a lot of entertainment with that little field robot that keeps on coming on to put the ball. He is hoping to get it right on the halfway line before the end of this competition. Hasn't quite done it yet. Maybe it will be uh, time in this game. We have got more dancing for Fiesta driving but, uh, as well, says Marco Vodopol there. And 14 12 to the English. So the same score line as the last match. But there are a few very talented players here. In this matchup, United States of America, they have got the likes of Ember. Also, their captain, Chris Thomas, she is one to watch out for in this match as well. Great Britain, 25-7, to 7, says Lyle. And also remember, uh, random, that Angus Scott Young from Queensland Reds just joined to play of, for Bay of Plenty. Also, are you going to stream Monitor 10 Cup games? Which team do you support? I don't actually have a favourite team, but I am 100% going to be doing some Bunnings NBC live streams. They have actually called it Bunnings NBC this year, which I feel like everyone was just getting used to to calling it the Mighty 10 Cup, but a lot of very entertaining games. Roger Thor versus Sheik for Auckland. There's plenty of signings that have happened. And this game could be a very exciting one because of the fact the last time the men played off in this one, I believe USA were up 21-0 and Great Britain were able to make the comeback of 26-21. to Whereas in the game against New Zealand, the Black Ferns, Great Britain were 21-0 up and they did actually lose that game 26-21. So I guess maybe... If it is kind of a rotating circle, that would mean that they will win this match 26 to 21 after being 21 points down. Worth a crack. We have us got there. Get in the bin, as well, says Lex Axel. And also, we are moving to level two for uh, in New Zealand, 11.59 p.m. tonight. Could uh, co 19 or level four, as well, says Brandon. I haven't actually heard anything about that, so we might have to wait and see. I know there were a couple of cases for the Olympics for the pole vaulters. If I'm not wrong, I love both, uh, both Mega, uh, Mega 10 and Bunnings as well. Yeah, I do enjoy them as well. If they want to sponsor the channel, we would well and truly accept it their way. Um, are we really moving into level two? I didn't know that, says Amy Fan. I don't believe we will be. Brandon, sometimes he has some stats that are true, and other times he has some stats that are not. So I'm wondering whether or not that is one that is not. But at this stage now, we are getting the cinematic of the USA flag. So we are only around a minute away from this match getting underway between USA and Great Britain. There is a spot in the semi-final on the line. Like I mentioned, New Zealand taking on Fiji in their side of the draw. This side is going to be USA and Great Britain taking on either China or Republic of China, I believe, or it will be France, who are actually in some incredible form as of late. So it's going to be a very good match indeed. But at this stage, now the referees are being shown. I'm excited for this match. I feel like that last match between Fiji and and Australia well and truly hyped me up for this one as well. But both of these sides, they've had their moments in this competition. Like, looking through their lineups as well, Abby Brown, the captain of It Is Great Britain, she has been doing very well for her side. i just seen an update as well, says Brandon. So we may have to wait and see whether or not that one is accurate. Uh, China going to win next match for sure. As well, says Amy Finn. They are a team that have impressed me big time in this competition. They're going to be up against a strong French side who also weren't really rated coming into this competition. People didn't see them as a contender, but now they certainly do. And China are also a side who have been doing incredibly well in this competition to get them into this position. Abby Brown, they are shown. She is always smiling. I think she is just very happy 
to be here for the Olympics. It is the Women's Olympic Sevens. Uh, King Stream Valerie as well. Says Amy Finn, do you know what time New Zealand time she is going to be throwing? Do let me know about Shannon is in the chat as well. Welcome back, mate. And also we have got in there uh, the chat about China winning the next match for sure. But at this stage, they aren't actually going to be starting Cheta Ember, I see, for the USA. So maybe a super sub later on in the match. But Jasmine Joyce, Abby Brown, both starting. Meg Jones, be bland very well as well. Aitchison. I think Great Britain are going to be a hard side to beat here. Yeah, this statement's going to backfire when we do see that they lose like 26-0. But I think it is going to be a very good one and possibly a little bit closer than that. New Zealand ranked uh, tw- uh, 12th on the medal pools. Three golds, three silvers, and two bronzes. Eight Olympic medal in day seven so far. Tell you what, the rowing was incredibly impressive for New Zealand. Able to get the two golds, also the silver as well. Pretty awesome indeed for New Zealand rowing today. We have got Bromo School took down the rugby post. As well as his more cake, are you into soccer season? Or is it just the case that they decided uh, that they would take it down? I got three new COVID cases. Um, this is not makeup. As well, says Brandon. So I may have to have a little look a little bit later on. 10.30 as well, says Amy Finn. I think that is actually when the next game is going to be kicking off. And that is going to be between France and China. But I will be having it. I can actually have it updated on the TV so that I can see how she is going as well at the same time as that game. But this one's going to be kicked off now by the USA semi-final number three, or sorry, quarter-final number three of today. She kicks it high here, and it is going to be taken. Oh, no, it's not going to be taken. It's going to be a little knock-on there by a mayor. Now Great Britain straight away have got this ball. Passing it out the back line, and Jasmine Joyce, she has got a ton of pace, and it looks like they aren't going to use it quite yet. Aitchison now passing it across field, and they are under a lot of pressure here. Rowland taken down just outside of the 22, and it's a penalty to Great Britain taking the quick tap now. And it is going to be a very good run here from Meg Jones. She's got the woman on the outside. Does she use them? She goes herself here. Offload it. It's going to be Jasmine Joyce. And no one is going to catch her for sure. And Jasmine Joyce. Joyce. Uh, I almost said that wrong, but she has scored another one. She is on fire at this stage, Jasmine Joyce. And she is just scoring tries for fun in this competition. She is fast and she has been using every inch of that speed that she has got. And they are going to be leading this match. Maybe 7-0 might be too generous. I might have to make it back to 5 because this is going to be a relatively difficult kick to be able to get over. But Jasmine Joyce, she just runs hard with the ball every day of the week. And every time it does end up with her scoring the tries. And this one, no more home games at the school as well. So there's more cake. And also we have got in there who's going to win the women's gold. I mean, the way that Fijiana played in that last game, you'd say that they're going to be hard to bet against. Actually, it was straight out in front for that kick. So it is a nice, easy one. 7-0 now in this one. But New Zealand, they look strong in their game up against... Uh, Russian Olympic Committee. But then saying that, I think it could be New Zealand versus Great Britain in the final is my prediction. But we will have to wait and see. Of course, France playing very well recently as well. They were able to finish top of their pool as well. And now it's going to be in the hands of the co-captain here. It's getting wrestled to the ground there, Chris Thomas. And they are going to be about 35 metres out from their own line here, the USA. And they need to be the next team to score using the back line now very nicely. Going right out into the hands of, I believe it was Kelter. No, sorry, that was actually uh, Tapper who was a tackle there. That's actually the first time I've seen her touch the ball in this competition. Maybe I haven't been paying enough attention or unless she hasn't been playing that much so far. But now it's going to be Tapper once again who has got this ball in hand. She's getting driven very close to her own and goal line. Straight on the ball there with Great Britain. And it is going to be a penalty one by Urin. Oh, sorry, it was Meg Jones. I'm having a shock with these names at the moment. It's a beautiful step there. It's a spin as well. And it's going to be the try for Abby Brown, the captain, the co-captain, I should say, has been able to score that try for Great Britain. And now they are going to be leading this match. 14 points to nil in the early stages of this one. We have got in there. No more home games. And also uh, we have got, come on, Great Britain. Says Amy and Kiwis will as well, says Amy. Beautiful spin there from Abby Brown. And she does the big dive as well. Scores the try. Still doesn't look very soft out there at Tokyo Stadium. But it has been turned into a try there once again. And Aitchison hits the post and it still goes over. And because of it now, 14-0 to Great Britain after only three minutes of this first half. The third try of this tournament for Abby Brown as well. And certainly having a captain's performance so far. We have also got, how about uh, the last night match between the Roosters versus Eels up, um, up the Roosters 28-0. As well as he said, Bogo, I didn't actually see the score there, but that is a very impressive performance from the Roosters indeed. I feel like they're my team in the NRL that I almost have a soft spot for in terms of who I end up going for when I do get a chance to watch them. But now it is going to be Aitchison, who will once again have this line-out throw opportunity for Great Britain. Something that they've been doing very nicely in this competition so far has been the set play. 
So it could be another opportunity as well. The COVID cases in New Zealand are we can stay home as well, says Brandon. And that one now taken nicely there by the captain. Abby Brown going back across field now. Good step from Meg Jones. She's trying to go through the gap and she is spinning once again for Great Britain going short side now. Almost able to get through there. But Matthews dragged down just 20 metres out from the USA line. They are under all sorts of pressure now. Going to be Meg Jones firing it out to Aitchison. Offload back to Jones once again, who has been busy in this match. She's going herself. She tries to step on the inside and offloads it back once again into the hands of Abby Brown. And at the moment, it is about a three-woman show for Great Britain at the moment. It is Meg Jones, Aitchison, and also Abby Brown, who have been doing a lot in their midfield now. And it's going to be a great step there from Rowland, but she is going to be dragged down 15 out. And it is just constant pressure here for Great Britain. Aitchison trying to step once again. Going to be tackled low. Very nicely done. Going back now through the middle. It is going to be a big hit there on Kwanzaa. They have still got this ball though, Great Britain. They are not giving it up. I will quickly read the chat in a very short moment. But once again, it's going to be Meg Jones with a step as well. Tackled a little bit too high there by Chris Thomas. So now it is going to be the advantage and the penalty to Great Britain. We have us got, I'm drunk. Uh, let's go New Zealand women's uh, wins that quarters as well, says Tesla. So the New Zealand women have already played and they actually won their game up against ROC. So they are going to be going to be playing Fiji in the semi-final. Another crazy night here in Fiji. Just for that upset, says this girl. And how big will it be? if they manage to go all the way and win the whole competition back-to-back -back medals for the men's Fijian side. Maybe a gold medal here for the Fijiana side if they do get that chance. It'll be hilarious if Great Britain reaches 21-0 and uh, US come back, just like you said as well. She's Shannon. Tell you what, it could happen. I feel like it's one of those ones. It seems to be a trend that it just keeps on going like that. 21 seems to be the score that you don't want to be on. I, if I was Great Britain, I would think about purposely missing this next kick just so that you don't sit on that 21 and instead you sit on that 19. But I don't think that will be the mindset. They've dropped the ball there. And now the US are going to have this ball, Thomas, now. And they are only going to be five metres out from the own line here. The US, the ball came free, and now it is going to be a scrum here. And there is just one of those situations at the moment. The territory game is well and truly in favour of Great Britain. They've just trapped them inside of their 22, almost their own 10 metre line from outside of their try line, and they haven't been able to get out as well. We have also got there. I miss uh, Charlotte Kesslick. Yeah, she is not going to be playing. Oh, she is going to be playing tomorrow. So you will get to see her again in that regard. Great Britain on fire, says this girl. Yeah, looking strong early on in this match. They are showing it is uh, Kelter, though, for the US. She has been pretty dangerous when she does touch the ball in this one. I feel like my name game has been a little bit off in this one, but now it is going to be Kelter who is driving forward just outside of the 22 now for the US. For the first time in a little while now, they are going to have another opportunity. It's going to be Thomas here trying to get through the gap, but it is going to be a great low tackle there from Matthews and Abby Brown trying to hold her up, and it might be a little bit high, but they have released her there, and she is going to be back down on the ground now. Once again, USA just trying to get out of their own 22. It has been happening very often throughout this match. It is almost a, a little bit... Jesus, I put a polar bear. Good fin there by the US, but once again, just tackled. It was Maya just outside of the 22, back into the 22. I'd love to see the territory percentage in this first half because surely it is about 80% for Great Britain at least. They are just trapped at the moment. That is going to be a penalty advantage for them though. So that is good news and they are going to be having that penalty. If I was them, 30 seconds left, I would consider just kicking this one downfield just to get out of that 22. And we've got, do you know uh, when the women's semifinals, bro? As well, says Tesla, it is going to be... I believe it is 2 p.m. tomorrow, if I'm not wrong, in 2.30 p.m. I could be wrong, though, in that regard. And we have also got, in the chat, how much time left, says Alex. We have still got another 12 seconds in the first half, and then we have got the second half to play, which at the moment, Great Britain, if they can get one more try before we get to halftime, they will be extremely dangerous as well. Can you please go up to my comment? I will try and read it at halftime. I saw that it was a little bit of a longer one, so I decided that I would save it for the halftime break. But at this stage now, the U.S. is going to have the scrum feet just inside of their 22 they need to make sure that they do win this ball. Will they kick it out? Oh, it's a little knock on. So that's going to be the end of the first half. And that was not a good half for the USA there. And at this stage, uh, tomorrow, 2.30 p.m., if no lightning delay. Yeah, the lightning, luckily, we didn't have too much of that for the male competition. But I guess it is one of those ones when there is that much humidity, that much temperature as well. It's been looking pretty stormy the last couple of days. And we have also got in there um, one hand on my phone, the other on the uh oh. And we have also got my first game for uh, Lana which is my score. I got a concussion, which is no good for you. Um, it was pouring. Uh, it was a 1 p.m.'s game. Scored a try as well. I think that was, was that the 70-meter try that you did mention the other day, uh, just that semi-final for New Zealand. Hamish says uh, 2 p.m. New Zealand time. 
I'm a bit faded as well. <laughs> says Des, like, yeah, I believe it is somewhere around there. Uh, love, first time to see a delay in sevens. As well, says Escaroy, yeah, the game between New Zealand and ROC did get delayed by a couple hours earlier on. And we had that delay in that one between Fiji and Australia as well. We had a little bit of an interesting start to that stream because of the fact that we were actually, uh, we ended up playing Rugby Challenge for a while. But that one is going to be shortened so that when you guys do want to go back and see the commentary of that match, it will be missing the first minute, but we will be able to have the start of that match there too, bro, as well, says David. And also we have got, yes, there's more Kaka and Church, Tesla, uh, Tesla here, legend. Much love, me, brother. As well, says Marco Von Apollo. And for you guys who do have the ability, can we see some more Kieran's in the chat once again? I absolutely love seeing the emojis going through. Anyone who is wondering what those emojis are, it is for the channel members who have got the ability of using the emoji, such as Kieran. Also, they have got the ability of using a rugby ball bumfa uh, try as well. Be sure to use those try ones as well. When we do get them, my team got 126 points, kept the other team at nil. So that is a very one-sided affair. And at this stage, this match, 14-0 has been very one-sided. We've got a few Kieran's from Tesla as well. And New Zealand is at level 2, uh, 11 p.m. Says Flower, I will have to have a little bit more research on it to make sure that you are telling the truth there. And also we have got there, I agree with your name, uh, more cake, more Sherlock. <laughs> Kids look. But at this stage now, it is going to be kicked off by Roland once again here for Great Britain. If they can get this ball and trap USA inside of their 22 once again, oh, it is going to be an awkward ball here. Going to be taken nicely by it is in the Inkershi, just outside of her 22, back in that 22, like I mentioned now. They're going to work their way out. It is going to be Kelsa now, who is going sideways. She is going to find a bit of a gap now, though. And they are driving 40 of the USA. They need to be the first team to score a try in this half if they want any chance. Wrestle to the ground by Rowland on the 22 line. Once again, now it's going to be the captain. Once again, a little offload on the inside. This is into the hands of Maya, but she hasn't quite been able to make too many metres for them. Jones with a little bit of a counter ruck not happening for them. Now, once again, it is just a standing start here for the US. They're getting driven back into their own 10 metre line. Once again, the good low tackle there from Meg Brown on Kelsa. Now it's a short bowl into the hands of the number two Maya. Once again, stolen in the breakdown. And Great Britain now going to have another chance. We have also got Name Mako and Hamish the Goats for sure as well. And we have also got those Karens in the chat. As well, now it's going to be in the hands of Joyce, and she's going through off the quick tap, and she has scored another one. And that is going to be a third try of the match. My voice almost tried to disappear. Third try of the match for Great Britain, and also it will be the second try of the match for Jasmine Joyce there. And she has been absolutely on fire in this competition. The Welsh, uh, the Welsh woman, do you call them Welsh, Welsh woman? Because I was going to say the Welshman, but that's not quite the right term. She is from Wales. Is it called a Welsh woman? Do let me know what you call a Welsh uh, woman <laughs> in the chat. We always got, sorry, I can't be a member or join your channel. That is no worries, mate. It is only, uh, it's not actually one of those things that are necessary for the channel at all. We still have plenty more contests or plenty more contests, plenty more content coming for you guys um, nonetheless. And it is just for really those emojis at this stage. And also a couple of live streams that we are going to be doing in the future as well. 21 nil says Shannon as well. And we have always got there. In the chat, uh, Tesla Hamish is a good bloke and living legend himself. The go himself as well. Says Marco Vodopolo. We appreciate that, mate. But now it's going to be taken here. And at this stage, USA just trying to wrestle meters. And it is going to be now an opportunity for another quick tap. Gustastus. Gustastus. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly as well. Go Great Britain. Try to make our, try to play better than the men's team as well. Says S. Groy. Now 21-0 has been almost that score that you don't want to have in a game. They need to score the next try, US. Or else maybe... It will be that situation, or sorry, Great Britain, or else it could be that situation of a 26-21 comeback that we've seen so many times in this competition so far. Uh, online, it says only Auckland at level two says Immortals. So what cases were there? I haven't actually read any of the news recently, which I feel like I possibly should have at this stage, but now it is going to be in the hands of Cheddar Ember, and she is definitely a woman who could break this defense open of Great Britain, but so far haven't been missing many tackles at all. Going short side now into the hands of Kershey. But he is, or she is going to be dragged down in the tackle once again by it was a Fleming. I'm having to look at my notes a lot in this one. I do apologize for that in advance, but now it's going to be Cheta Ember. Pfizer on the outside now. I'm going to be Tappa trying to drive four, but she is going to be tackled once again. Almost a penalty for Abby Brown there. Back across field once again for the US. They've had all the position in the second half other than that one moment. Where Great Britain were able to score the try, but Great Britain, they won't be minding this. If their defence can just hold up for the next three and a half minutes, they will be through to that semi-final game. And now it is once again going to be in the hands of their number three big fin there. Almost knocking it down to the ground there. 
now around the side once again. It's going to be a great run there from Mayer. And at this stage now, they are just outside of the 22. It's going to be Kelso with a good offload there. And they are going to be driving forward. It's going to be Heverland, who is getting her first touch of this match so far. Back across field now. They have been working extremely hard for this try here. USA, if they can get it, it is going to be a good break of the line. Few fins as well on the outside now. And it is going to be tougher. Can she go all the way? She is going to be dragged down 10 metres out from the line now. And it's a penalty to the US as well. Our man um, has insane commentary for real as well. I feel like this one's been a little bit rougher. But hopefully, uh, as I learn these names a little bit more, it will slowly keep on improving as well. I heard Dan Bibby said uh, that G uh, GPR, or GBR, sorry, preparation program was a joke as well, says Escroy. And that is coming from a man who was the captain of them. That is going to be the try. And it is the first try of the match. And it is going to be Kershaw who was able to score it. And at this stage now, could the comeback be on? There are only two and a half minutes left. But I did mention that the number that you don't want to be on is 21. Because for some reason, weird things happen for that number. We've seen two comebacks so far for teams who have been 21 nil down to then go on and win a game. That one's going to be missed, though, in the kick for the USA. So they are going to need two tries and something in only two minutes. It's going to be tough for them, that is for sure. We have us got there. Uh, support our Kiwi brother as well, says Tesla. And also, I said everyone, get the membership, support our man uh, as well, says Tesla. And also, we have got then another site, says the whole of New Zealand is level one. Says Immortals, and uh, good to see your channel growing, brother. Give it up, says Ezra. Thank you very much, mate. We are going to be covering a lot of the Bunnings NPC as well. It's kind of probably going to be a little bit quieter than our Super Rugby live streams, but I am going to absolutely love doing it for the sake of learning where these Super Rugby and international players kind of come from in terms of those clubs that they're playing for. Plus, that was an awesome competition to watch last year. So hopefully it is the same this year, but this one's now going to be taken very nicely by Abby Brown for Great Britain once again. Going back across field now. Good ball from Meg Jones now. Bit of a step from their number six back into the hands of Jones. And she has been extremely busy in this match so far. Now Rowland offloads. It's going to be dropped back into the hands now of their number three, which is Abby Burton has got the ball. She scored in the last match, I believe, as well. And Hamish, we trust Cecilac like Sexel and we're level one COVID at the moment in New Zealand. Says Tesla now. It's going to be out the back line once again here. Going to be Rowland. She's got a woman on the outside. Decides not to use her. 40 metres out now. Going short side. Abby Brown messing up a little bit. Dropped the ball. Oh, that's harsh. Saying that it went forward, I think it was almost back a little bit, but now it is going to be a scrum for the USA with only a minute 15 left in this one as well. Even uh, Auckland is level one. I will miss out one of those words, uh, but level one is at the moment and everywhere. But yeah, Valerie Adams, someone mentioned, was doing her shot put very soon, which of course is going to be one that a lot of Kiwis will be watching because of the fact I think that was almost one of the safer medals, you'd say, in terms of being able to get another one on the sheet. For New Zealand, currently sitting 12th out of all of the countries. Three goals so far. Very good day for the rowing today. Um, big um, plan, uh, pandemic here in Fiji. Yeah, the numbers in Fiji have been ramping up big time. And I think I also saw that they would have ramped up more because of the celebrations. Because of the fact that Fiji, of course, becoming gold medalists in the NZ Sevens once again. Or sorry, the Olympic Sevens once again. Going around the side once again. It's going to be their number eight. Driving forward here for the U.S. Getting close. They've got the advantage as well. They're going to be going back for the quick tap. They've only got 40 seconds left. They need to score now if they want any chance. And then they're going to have to score again. Both converted and then something. So at this stage, the USA, this is just playing for pride. At this point, they want to be able to get this uh, next try since they are now inside of the 22, but just getting forced backwards once again with Kwanzaa. They are just at a standing start now for the USA. Going short side, not quite able to break the tackle of Jones once again. Going short side, they are going to this side quite a bit now. It's going to be Kershey, the woman who was able to score the try for the USA. Back across field, through the hands. Was it for? No, it was backwards. So they have got another opportunity. It's going to be Ember now. Driving for Chetta Ember. Not able to get through at this stage. Three seconds left here before Great Britain get to move on to the semifinals. Running straight is going to be Matthias. Trying to find the offload. Gives it to Kershey. She's dragged down as well. And the USA aren't giving up yet. Kershey, she's still going. Gives it into the hands. And the number four tries to take it again. That wasn't quite placed the way that it should have been. Chet Amber just breaking through tackles. And there are about four great British players just on the ground at the moment. Fires the white ball. Quick hands. And it is going to be the final try of the match. And it is scored in the end by Tapper. And now we will add that one to the try scorers list. So it's going to be a little bit closer then this match, look, at the start, it's going to be 12 to the USA and Great Britain for, uh, uh, on 21. Did I say this match was going to be won by Great Britain by seven? I feel like that's just something that maybe I'm making up at this stage, but I think that might have been close to the prediction if I'm not wrong. 
But at this stage now, we have Oscar in there. Ministry of Health uh, guessing the numbers as well. Says it was Eskaroy Valerie Adams in the chat as well. And also we have got Yuba Hergi Fiji carved up in the finals. Gold equals more celebration as well. And you should say, or you can say that again, Eskaroy. And also we have got still wondering why our countries are uh, no jam, no job as well. Or what country gives no jam, no job, says Eskaroy. And also we have got in there. Tell you what, my coverage is just frozen. But luckily we were at the end of the game. 21 points to Great Britain in this one. 12 to the USA, so they are going to be going through to the semi-finals to face either China or it could be possibly France, who are in form as well. Um, there's a me or the 100 or swimming, like 100 medals, so many medals as well. Yeah, they have a whole heap of different medals available. Of course, I've got the four different styles and also the relays as well as distances is another one. It's going to be the same with track and field probably as well. You can make a business off that as well, says Tesla, in terms of um, got that uh, medal for home um <laughs> as well but at this stage now we are going to be ending this live stream and then we will be transferring over to our next one which is going to be between the next two sides that are playing which is going to be france and also the people's republic of china so hopefully that is a good match as well but thank you all very much for tuning in if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like also subscribe to the channel if you are new and we will see you all in the next one